Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the new Parallax Backgrounds feature that lets you add a parallax effect to your digital magazines and websites created with InDesign and In5. First, I want to show you how easy it is to turn something in InDesign into a parallax background. So I'm going to go up to the In5 menu and down to the Interactive Widgets and choose the parallax background. Now I'm going to select this image that's my the background for my cover. You see I already have this turned on. So I'm going to make this element a parallax background and have it sized to window, which is most cases what you're going to want. I'm going to create the image from the content, so the, the actual image that's inside here. Let me show you if I select this and hold. You can see there's a big image in here that I can move around. So I'm going to use that entire image, and it'll scale to the window, but be masked by this frame, which happens to cover the whole page, but it doesn't have to. So when I go to export this, I'm going to just show you two things that I'm doing. I'm using a scrolling website style page format. And the other thing I'm doing is fitting this to the width of the window. So let's take a look at the output. Here's in the browser. It's scaled to the width of the window. When I scroll down, you can see this background here stays in place, but the artwork, the title, the subtitle are all moving down. And there's the second page. I'll go back up and you can see that background stays fixed. That is a parallax effect. Super easy to set up, super easy to use.